let's talk about the color picker. Often the color picker is tied in with the eyedropper tool. So let me show you how it works. If I click on the eyedropper right here, and then I point out to you that down here we have a black icon and a white icon. With the eyedropper selected, and I click on the blue sky, notice that the black icon has turned blue, because that's what I clicked on. If I come over here and I click in the gray area, notice that it turns into a shade of gray. If I double click on the icon itself, it's going to open up the color picker. And the color picker allows me to come over and select different colors and different shades. So for example, if I want red, I move the slider up to red. And then I move the circle into the area of red that I want to use. Notice that with the color selected and the shade selected, this area is the color that I'm currently working with. If I click down here on green, then this is the color that I'm going to be working with unless I take this circle and I slide it over here. And then it's going to change the color. So basically you need two different moves in order to change color. You click once here for yellow and then click once up here for the shade of yellow that you actually want. When you're happy with what you have, you click OK and then we now have yellow selected. And with yellow selected, that allows us to click on the paintbrush and I can paint right across the image with yellow. And now if I click this little tiny black and white that's above the yellow currently, I'm gonna click that and that turns it back to a default of black and white. If I click this double arrow right here, that's going to flip the colors around. So currently it's black with white background, now it's white with a black background. Now, at its most basic form, all you really need to worry about is this foreground color. And whatever color you currently have selected is the color that you will be painting with.